What a year it has been for Volinu coming up on that one year anniversary. Can you believe that it's still less than 365 days old as a project? Think about everything that has been accomplished. Now, if you're part of the Volt Army guys, smash that like button and leave some electricity bolts in the comments today because we are talking about Volinu, who is closely and quickly approaching. 100 exchanges in less than a year. And I've made many tweets about this. I've done my research on this. There has never been a DeFi token in history, in history, that's been listed on 100 exchanges in less than a one year. Everybody says Shiba Inu, go look at the charts, run the numbers. No, they weren't even on 30 exchanges by the time they hit one year. The only token is ApeCoin, but I don't really consider that a decentralized token. They were listed on Binance, Coinbase, Qcoin, all on day one. They had more connections. Volt Inu had to build it from the ground up. Volt Inu was recently listed on Decoin Exchange. This is number 98, rounding us into number 100. In less than a year, Decoin has 100,000 followers on Twitter. Now, Voltoshi is hinting at some things here. He said the last 11 months have been full of catalysts, but the best is yet to come. E.g., only one of the top 10 exchanges has been vaulted so far. As we know, Volt Inu was listed on Gate.io that came back in September. Now, I'm not going to speculate, guys. I don't think it's up for us to speculate. I'm going to wait for the facts to come out. But Voltoshi does seem to be hinting at a Tier 1 exchange or something in the top 10 listing Volt Inu. For me personally, it would just make sense because number 100, it's a big number. It would make sense to save a number or a big exchange for that special number like 100. But like I said, I'm not going to sit here and speculate and say, hey, it's going to be Coinbase. It's going to be Binance. Look, if it's one of these, it's going to be huge. But regardless, number 100 for a token in less than 365 days is going to be huge. And I'm speaking on it like it's already fact because I do believe that they will get listed on 100 in less than a year. He said that they're going to get listed on it. He's pretty much, and I, when I say he, I speak of Vitoshi, uh, Voltoshi. I don't know if it's a he, she, they, whatever his pronouns are, but he's executed like we've never seen before. So he said it in the summertime. He said, we're going to get listed on 100 centralized exchanges by the end of the year. I said, there's no way in hell. Sorry, Voltoshi. I eat my word. Hey, I'll admit when I'm wrong because they were only listed on like 25 or 30 by that time. I was like, you're going to get listed on 70 exchanges in six months. He did that, which is very, very impressive. So it will be interesting to see who is number 100 and who is number 99. What if they're both big? That'd be great. And on the other note, guys, Brazil is getting vaulted. Volt Inu, sponsored fighter. Gilbert Burns, Gilbert Dorino, returns to the octagon at UFC 283 as Volt Inu, uh, as Gilbert Burns takes on Jeff Neal at UFC 283 in Brazil. This is just another great way to get some eyeballs on Volt Inu. You can see here, Gilbert Burns, uh, 265,000 followers here. He's got another 700,000 followers on uh, Instagram, and he's retweeting this on his main page. So he's vaulted. Hopefully he goes out there. Not hopefully. He's going to go out there and vault his opponents, but two exchanges away from 100, the first token in DeFi history to ever do so. What a year it has been for Volt Inu. Shout out to the Volt Army. Shout out to Gilbert Burns. Shout out to the Voltoshi. Guys, we're going to be live on the Jake Gagan Show, the Vaulted Wednesday live stream tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time with Pablo and Power, right? Make sure to subscribe. Come join us there. Good things are looking, uh, good things ahead for Volt Inu. Thank you so much for tuning in. Smash that like button on your way out, and we'll see you guys soon.